Hello and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the number one Mark III Enfield and the number four Mark I Enfield. Uh, the main difference you're going to notice is the number four has a flip up peep sight, whereas we have this tangent sights on this old girl. This is a 1942 Australian made Lee Enfield, but these rifles served from World War One right up until I believe the 60s with India, but they redesigned it for 308, the number one Mark III. Uh, these rifles were pretty much the mainstay of any of the Commonwealth countries during World War II, either or. Um, later in the war they'd switched over to the number four just because I think they wanted uh, peep sights. And it's a touch lighter. Um, as far as I can think right off hand, it would have been Canada, Britain, Australia, India it is a stripper clip for one. They hold five rounds each. The box mags on these rifles are for 10, so you'd need two of these to load. This bayonet is for the number one Mark III SMLE. It was made uh, in December of 1920. So, uh, without really too much more, these are chambered for 303. Uh, let's do some shooting. Okay, we're going to start shooting with the number one Mark IV SMLE. This, again, is a 1942 Australian made rifle. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do when you're shooting is put your bayonet on because you can't hit a target without a bayonet on. Fun fact, actually, uh, these were considered pretty much useless by soldiers. Uh, a lot of times they just use them to toast bread over fires. So we open up our bolt back, put our stripper clip in and just push down. And there you go. So forward and ready to go. So you can see, although it was made in the 40s, she's still not playing around any. So we'll uh, get the number four and we'll take a few shots at that. And this is the number four, Mark II. I don't actually know the date on this rifle because the date code on it is pretty much gone. Uh, it says 43, so it's... 1943 and I by the looks of it it never actually went through an FTR so it's still got red I don't know where this rifle was this point has a white paint strip around it it was carried a fair bit but anyways same thing with the number one stripper clip goes in just push them right in and you're good to go Well, a couple misses, but I mean, you get the idea. These are really nice guns. Uh, if you're just starting in surplus, this might not be the best place to start because 303 is considerably going up in price in Canada. Uh, the cheapest I could find was two bucks a round. But uh, fun rifles, beautiful rifles, and <laughs> I believe it was World War I there was Germans that thought they were under machine gun fire because there's a way they do it, like this here, basically, where it's the mad minute they call it, how many rounds they could fire. And some squads have gotten that good at shooting that they could just unload on somebody like it was automatic. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like. Uh, if you want to see anything more, let me know, and I'll try my best to get it done for you. Thanks very much.